telling the story of Peter and the Water Sprite, a tale from Sweden. Once long ago, an old man called, called his son, his name was Peter, to his bedside. I am soon going to die, he said, and I am sorry to say that I have nothing to leave you, you but a coil of rope. It's a very good rope, and I am sure you will make good use of it. The following day, Peter's father died. After the funeral, Peter wiped away his tears and set out into the woods with a coil of rope. He soon caught, caught a young squirrel, a, a, a young squirrel, and, and soon out, and then after a frisky rabbit. Then he set with it, went in search of bigger game. He knew that an old bear liked to take long naps in the cave near a lake. So, when he got to the lake, he sat down and dangled his feet into the water. Suddenly, a very a very, a very ugly and dangerous water spring came out of the cold waters. Why are you putting your stinky feet in my water? <laughs> said the water sprite. Yes. I am making the largest snare in Sweden, replied Peter, and I'm and I'm going to use it to, to, to uh, and I'm going to use it to, to catch all, all the water sprites and try to escape from the lake. Shame on you, boy, for even thinking that you could catch me, for I am much too fast for the likes of you. In fact, I challenge you to a race to the top of that tree over there. I can't. Oh, I'm much too busy for for a race," said Peter. So, so I'll let my little so I'll let my little cousin run for me. He unleashed the squirrel, which immediately darted to the tree and was on the highest branch before, before the squirrel could twice blink his eyes. Um, yeah, caught then as a quick climber," said the water sprite. But I know I could rip me you in a race across the ground. I'm too busy with the snares, Peter. Peter. So what I would have run right for for him. He unleashed the rabbit, which made by his long ear and darted across, across the meadow and into the bushes. So before the sprite could, could, could once blink his eyes. Your little brother is fast. And mend the water sprite. But still, I am strong, much stronger than you realize. In fact, I challenge you to a wrestling match. I'll, ne I'll never get this snare done when I take time to play your games, Peter. But if you go into that cave over there and wake up my old grandfather, he'll be happy to meet your challenge. <laughs> Right immediately ran out of the cave and started tugging on the bear's whiskers. Wake up, old man! Your grandson said you would wrestle me. The bear woke, woke up. up the sprite blinked once, and the bear immediately knocked him back into the lake. Your grandfather is strong. That I admit," said the water sprite. And then, after hesitating. What do you want, boy, to leave me and the other water sprites alone? After thinking for a moment, Peter said, Enough gold coins to build my hat. Agreed, said, said the water sprite, and, and quickly dove to the bottom of the lake. Meanwhile, Peter, Peter dug a large pit and, and, cut a hat, and cut a hole in the top of his hat. He then, he then placed the hat over the pit. When the sprite came back, he dumped the coins through the hole. Which, of course, so he fell into the pit. That's an awfully big hat, said the water sprite. I'm going to have to die for more coins. He, he dove again and came back with enough coins to build a hat. Thank you, water sprite, said Peter. Now you and your friends are safe. And anytime you feel like another race or wrestling match, just let me know. No, thank you, said the water sprite. If you are anything like the rest of your family, I'll just stay at my home in the bottom of the lake. And with 
that he quickly dove back to 